Hello, I'm Yufu Liu from the University of Tokyo, Japan. I will start the presentation about thermocarriers, a wearable haptic device with illusory moving thermal stimulation. Haptic presentation technology has been developed to improve the immersion of wear or as a tool for remote communication. Thermal sensation is often involved in human human contact. To recreate this temperature, Many Peltier based thermal devices have been developed. Liquid based thermal devices have also been developed to pursue soft contact and high speed temperature presentation. Contact is often followed by movement. It is neuroscientifically known that we innately feel a sense of pleasantness when our arms are gently stroked. It is also known that stroking at the temperature of human skin enhances pleasantness. To exploit this effect in engineering, various approaches have been made to create stroke sensation. However, simply combining both temperature and stroke devices would make the device too large. It is known as thermal referral that when thermal and tactile stimuli are applied to two nearby points on the skin, temperature can be felt in both areas. In our study, we proposed a hypothesis that if the tactile stimulus site moves, the transfer temperature site will move together. Based on this hypothesis, we implemented a prototype thermocaris. The temperature is presented by flowing water through the pouch. The moving tactile sensation is presented by continuously inflating five pneumatic pouches. Each pneumatic pouch is equipped with a micro blower and a driver circuit. Therefore, the complex pneumatic system required in conventional pneumatic devices could be simplified in our device. Since the soft device adheres to the skin, it is expected to be able to enhance the thermal conductivity. To test our hypothesis about the illusion of thermal movement, we conducted a user test. We also investigated the effect of the conditions of the temperature, such as presenting position, size, and degree of temperature. Additionally, we examined the effect of thermal moving illusion on the pleasantness of the stroke. Experimental conditions are here. Please pause the video or see our paper for more detailed information. After the stimuli were presented, the participants replayed the position of the temperature they felt by moving two fingers. They also answered the pleasantness of each stimulus on a record scale of minus 3 to 3. This is a result about the distance of thermal movement. The results confirmed our hypothesis that it is possible to create thermal moving illusion by overwrapping a pressure stroke on a fixed position of temperature stimulus. It was also indicated that the position, size, and the presented temperature did not affect the sense of temperature movement. This is the result of the pleasantness. The main result was that cold stimuli felt good. This is a surprising result compared to the previous research in the field of neuroscience, which shows that strokes at the temperature of human skin were the most pleasant. When we feel something, Various factors and contexts come into play. Perhaps the fact that the experiment was conducted in the summer affected the results. One of the current issues with thermal caress is the water system. In the current implementation, water is stored in a bucket. But since the amount of water actually used is small, we believe that a small plastic bottle sized tank can be used instead. In this way, the control circuit and water tank can be placed in a shoulder pouch, and some cars can be used as portable. As a future prospect, we would like to explore the possibility of using some cars as a communication device by testing it in an environment close to real life. Here is a summary of the presentation. Thank you for watching.